वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स अ लॉट ऑफ यूल कीप सेंग दैट डिविजन इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट ओके एस्पेशली वेन एन एग्जाम इफ यू हैड टू डू समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड इफ देर वॉज अ परसेंटेज इन वॉट सो यू जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई बाई हंड्रेड सो समथिंग लाइक दैट गेट्स फर्स्ट थिंग आफ्टर लुकिंग एट इट ओनली यूल गेट्स स्केर्ड एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट Uh, the entire calculation also is very lengthy and the worst part is the options are also given very close by okay so you all can't even you know nullify from your options as well so what to do in when you come across something like this so before actually st starting with this i want you to understand a very small concept of ratio so let's say we have a ratio of 1 is to 4 so basically we are saying that we have a fraction of 1 upon 4 okay so now there is a rule of fraction the rule of fraction is nothing but whenever you add something over here if i'm adding 2 then you are going to add this in the same ratio over over with the denominator as well so 2 into 4 because your denominator uh, the denominator ratio is 4 so 2 into 4 will get you what 8 so then you are getting what 3 upon 12 which is eventually coming out to be 1 upon 4 so basically you always have to remember that whatever let's take for example if i'm adding 1 plus 5 okay so i'm going to add 4 plus 20 okay because we need to make sure that the ratio even in addition the ratio is followed okay so basically you get this as nothing but 6 upon 24 which is eventually coming out to be 1 upon 4 so i hope you all have gotten the idea of it means whatever you are adding you have to just make sure that the ratio remains to be same if you have understood this then literally you can do this orally okay trust me and you will have no no problem solving any of these kind of divisions hence forward okay so now see look over here we have 255 and this is around 516 can i say this is very very close to 1 upon 2 okay See here, we are trying to use a little bit of assumption, okay? Little bit of assumption, but that little bit of assumption will help you in such a great manner, to, and it will make your life literally very, very simple. Okay, so now understand. I can make this as nothing but what? Let's say I can make this either five hundred or I can make this six hundred. So let's say if I made it six hundred, then what I should be in? in sorry, my bad. If I'm adding 600 to, I want six, this to be made 600. Then I need to add how much? I need to add 84, right? Now, if this is supposed to be added in the denominator, then this is in the half ratio. So this has to be half of 84, which will be what 42. So now this is coming out to be what two two nine seven two ninety seven. upon 600 okay now understand i if this was a percentage involved your entire problem would have been solved but even if there was not a percentage involved you just had to do this so basically we know that your answer will be in the form of 0 point okay now let's do 6 divide by 2297 so your first digit that would be what 4 and then uh, when you take 24 from 29 you're getting 5 so again 9 so then 54 taken from 57 you're left with 3 so 495 okay now let's very quickly see what is the actual answer in the calculator for this one so if you all can see the answer is 255 divided by 516 the answer is point Four nine four one, and we are getting point four nine five. So that's very close to your actual answer. Okay. Now very quickly, let's see if I had to make it five hundred. If I had to make it five hundred, then basically I am what subtracting by sixteen. So two fifty five. I'm also again subtracting by eight. So here I'm getting five hundred, and this will now come out to be. Two forty-seven. So now, when you divide this, again we'll do a zero point, and this is four za. We are left with four seven. So five za, and then this is four. So zero point. Sorry, four nine. Four nine four. Okay. So these two answers are very close to each other. 
okay so students if you like the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also don't forget at the end i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section okay now very quickly let's see what happens when you have to do something um, i'm taking a bigger or difficult one uh, ratio 479 upon 728 now this is very difficult to figure out also so here can i say this is very close to 480 upon 720 so this is basically going in 12 stable so you are left with what 40 so the zeros are cancelling so i'm just writing 4 upon 6 so this is coming out to be 2 upon 3 okay now i can make this 720a as nothing but what 800 if i want to make this 800 so 728 plus 72 will get me 800 okay now your what you should be adding now this is interesting okay so you have to see this way 2 upon 3 is equals to x upon 72 so you need to see what is the value of x in in this case so you are coming out to be x is equals to 2 into 72 upon 3 ones are twos are 24 so we are getting 48 okay so we are adding 479 and 48 this is coming out to be 527 upon 800 So your final answer will now become zero point. So this is six za, and then you are left with four, so forty seven. So this is five za, and then you are left with seven. So you are you are getting eight. Okay. So this is how you can do these kind of fractions. Okay. Now very quickly, let's see if there was a one upon three fraction, and in case. the value of x is coming out to be in decimal okay let's see if that is the case okay uh let's say we have 3 1 3 1 upon 926 okay so if i want to make it 1000 sorry 3 1 upon 926 is your question so if i want to make it 1000 then i will add it what 30 sorry you will add let's say i am adding 74 74 to this okay in order to make it 1000 so this becomes 1000 okay so here what you should be adding is now why like that so this is basically can i say it is following 1 upon 3 ratio right so now again 1 upon 3 is equals to x upon 74 So therefore, your x comes out to be what seventy four upon three, which is very very close to what twenty, which is actually rather twenty four point six. So I can round it off and make it twenty five. Okay, you don't have to worry over yours. So if I'm adding twenty five, so I'm left with what three, three and seven. So your final answer is zero point three three seven. Now let's see what is your actual answer in your calculator. Okay, so we are going to do three one two divide by nine twenty six. So see three three six nine, and we are getting three three seven. So you all see, little bit of adjustment even in the ratios is not a harm. Okay, so now coming to your DIY, I want you to tell me what is the answer of let's say two one zero upon Four zero three. Do let me know your answers in the comment section. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next.